Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at some stuff I have coming for the remainder of this month of February, which includes figures and other doujin collectibles. Let's get started. All right, first up, in terms of pre-orders that are coming in February, the remainder of this month, we have a pop-up parade of Maka Alburn from Soul Eater, and then we have a scale figure from Fire Emblem Heroes. This is Veronica. It's very possible that this one could get delayed. I did have one figure get delayed, Yu-Gi-Oh figure, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about these two figures. Let's start with the Maka Alburn one. I still can't believe we are getting Soul Eater figures or a Soul Eater figure in 2024. I'm all for it. Hopefully some of the other characters can get figures as well. I'm still dreaming of the day that we can get a Krona figure in whatever form. I'll take it. Uh, the Maka Alburn figure stands at around like seven inches tall, a little above that, I believe. It goes for around like $32 maybe, I believe, in terms of USD. I do own the uh, one that did come out a while ago that's very expensive now. I see people selling it for like $1,000. Mine is definitely not worth $1,000 as mine is a bit damaged. Uh, I'm planning to repair her though. I wasn't planning on selling her anyway. But yeah, I would love to have this uh, cheaper pop-up parade added to the collection as well, and then hopefully we can get some more characters. Next up, let's talk about Veronica. She is a 1-7 skill. Let me double check that real fast. She is indeed a 1-7 skill. She's a more expensive as she's gonna be going for about basically $200, 197 to be exact. Uh, but these final figures are usually pretty expensive sometimes. And I'm a big fan of this character in particular. She stands at around, looks like she'll be around like 10 inches tall. So we're looking at 10 inches in height. So she is a character from the mobile game Fire Emblem Heroes. I like this character a lot. I've always been a fan of hers. I always try to uh, pull for her in whatever banner she comes in, any new version of her. Actually, one of the things that I'm really excited for for this figure uh, is actually it looks like it's going to have a ton of details on it based on how the outfit looks. It does not look like they'll be holding back at all. Okay, for real now, let's move on. Okay, so next up we have some uh, Dark Magician Girl goods, a whole lot of them. I wanna share these when they come in. Uh, so three of the items are gonna be Dojin art books. Well, I actually don't know if these are, actually I think they might actually be Dojinji, not like just the art book, it might be like a little comic or something. Uh, I don't know if these are gonna be like R18 or not. If they are not, then I can show them off. At the very least, I should be able to show off the front covers because there's no uh, adult content in the front. I wish we'll do that in another video. Uh, when I when I receive them, we'll just do the unboxing for the actual books plus the other items. Speaking of the other items, uh, we're gonna get some keychains. We got two acrylic keychains coming in, which I will show those off as well. And then finally, well, actually not finally, the, the two keychains and the three Dojin books are from the same seller. They're also uh, selling this really, really pretty Dark Magician Girl desk mat that you see here. And this one looks like it's gonna be pretty great. Uh, I love the colors on it. I love the change in outfit color, but it's very pretty. Yeah, those are all coming from the same seller. Actually, I'm gonna put that there. Uh, I'm following them on X or Twitter, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, here's a picture here. Yeah, you can go follow them if you love. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh art, they, I noticed they do a lot of like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh characters, you know, like the creep, like the monster cards, uh, the more humanoid ones. I think that's what I've seen so far. Yeah, the art is fantastic. Uh, you can go give them a follow. I think the stuff they make is pretty great. Okay, moving on to the last item. Uh, this is going to be, oh, actually, it's not the last item. <laughs> it's the last Dark Magician Girl item. That's what it is. It is an Opie mouse pad of Dark Magician Girl. If you've seen any of my videos, you've seen the Opie mouse pads in the background. You know I like to collect that stuff. Uh, I think this is the best Dark Magician Girl by Mouse Pad I've ever seen. And I placed a bid on it on Yahoo Japan Auction and I won. So yeah, should be getting that one in the mail. I'll wait, for, that one's gonna be from like just a different seller. Uh, that one, I'll wait for both that to come in along with the other Magician Girl items and I'll just unbox them all together. All right, so now the last product I have coming in, which will be here in February actually as well, 
but this item will be here before the end of February. It might be like towards like right at the end. The Machine Dramon, uh, what's it called? The Figure Rise Amplified Machine Dramon by Bandai. I think it's something like that. Uh, so a little bit of a uh, context here. I've, I'm actually a huge Digimon fan. I, I grew up on it and I've always been a fan. Machine Dramon has always been one of my favorite characters in the entire series. And I've always wanted to have a figure of him. And I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get it. I'm going to go ahead and get his figure. Let me see if I can pull out some stats for you as far as that figure is concerned. Okay, so here we are. Uh, okay, I have the stats. According to the stats, it stands at around almost 10 inches tall. I'm not sure what they're going by specifically. Are they counting like from his toe to the top of his gun? I don't know. But it does say listed at 9.75 inches tall uh, or 250 mm. I think that is going to be like around 10 inches tall. Anyway, I'm not sure how they're calculating it here. A uh, really cool figure, part of their Bandai Spirits line. I can't wait to put this together. It is a model kit, owned a model kit figure before. So this will be my first introduction. If I like this figure, I'm sure I will. I've seen other videos, pictures and stuff. I will definitely get some more Digimon figures. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you for now. Uh, we'll make a video for March as well. Uh, I'm not sure if this is something y'all wanted to see or not. I just figured I'd put something out since I don't have anything to, to put out today. I am currently working on some more unboxings. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Please let me know what you think. I'll put some videos in the description for you to check out if you're new here or you have not seen those videos. Anyway, guys, I need to get out of here. Bye.